even as smartphones get more and more powerful and increasingly efficient, battery life has always plagued us throughout the entire history. Well, not anymore. So even as smartphones are getting better and better at power management, saving battery at every possible turning, it's just really not good enough. Even my 2016 flagship Google Pixel XL can barely last two days, which, in the perspective of things in their battery lives, I think just could be better. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three different apps, which honestly are revolutionary in their own right. And the first one is Pixel Filter. Now you've probably all heard of screen dimming applications. They essentially apply a fake filter on top of your pixels to make them seem darker than they actually are, but you're not saving any battery whatsoever by doing this. What Pixel Filter does on the other hand is extremely clever. It provides a matrix of pixels which it decides to switch off. You can switch off anywhere from 10% all the way to 88% of the pixels. So yes, this is reducing the effective resolution on your screen, but it does it in such a clever way that even with 88% of the pixels off, the phone is surprisingly usable, you can still read pretty much all the text, and with 50% off, it looks pretty much as sharp as with nothing off. If you've got an AMOLED display on your phone, this will save you a ton of battery life. But we're not going to stop just there, because now we've got Greenify, and what it does is allows you to selectively send your applications into a mode called hibernation. In hibernation mode, apps won't be able to do anything, they won't be able to communicate, they won't be able to refresh, and you'd be amazed how much they actually try and do this in the background if you don't stop them. So when you open it up, you simply just scroll through a list of your current applications. It'll tell you which ones are using particularly high amounts of RAM and CPU, and then you can hold them down and hibernate them. And the great thing about this is you're not disabling the applications, you can launch them, and then as soon as you close them again, they'll just go into this low power consumption mode. If your phone is rooted, you'll get an even better experience with a few more things to fiddle with. And there's tons of experimental settings as well, like aggressive dose, which improves battery life even more. So now we've got your screen under control, we've got your apps under control, and the last thing we need to do is get the rest of the software and the CPU under control. And this app right here will do just that. Hibernation Manager regulates your CPU, and instead of it running at maybe 1500 MHz when your screen is off, it'll make sure it's running at the minimum possible amount it needs to be. Something I'd recommend doing is turning off sync when the screen is off, and what this means is that as soon as you turn your screen back on, your phone will start to sync again, so all the emails and notifications you missed, you'll just get when you turn the screen on, it just doesn't constantly refresh them. After one day of light usage, the 3450mAh Pixel XL had 62% power remaining, which is good, but after installing these three apps, we managed to get 76%. Furthermore, after one day of the phone being entirely on standby, we had 97% of battery remaining, which is just incredible. So guys, that's it for me for now. I really hope this video helped you give your phone somewhat of a revival, and if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you slapped that like button, it would mean a ton to me. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.